In this video, I review the Theragun G3 Pro. If you're interested in this review, make sure you stay tuned. All right, everyone, Theragun G3 Pro review coming soon. Tons of requests to do this review, probably because I did a Hypervolt versus Theragun G2 Pro video a while ago. If you didn't watch that, I'll put it in the description below. Um, so let's get started. But first, a couple things. I am not getting paid for this review. A lot of people always wonder, the company probably just sent them one and paid them to do a review. I did not get paid for this. I actually bought this unit, did not get it for free. And I'm also not affiliated with Theragun. So I wanted this review, wanted you guys to know that it's going to be a 100% unbiased review and opinion of this gun. Also, this video might be on the longer side. And the reason for that is these massage therapy guns aren't cheap and i want it to be as thorough as possible because the last video i did a lot of people messaged me and said hey thanks for the review i bought this gun massage gun because of the review and because these things are not cheap i want to make sure that i'm very thorough in my review that way you can make the decision if you want to invest in one of these so that is the reason also Last thing I swear, after reviewing the Theragun G3 Pro, I'm going to compare this to the Hyperice Hyper Volt. A little bit of a follow-up to my first video comparing the two, and it won't be as thorough, but you know what, I'll put them next to each other. We'll turn them on and see the sound difference. Just see if anything has changed. All right, so at the end of this review, we'll compare the two. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is let's just unbox it. Let's see what comes with a Theragun G3 Pro percussive therapy device. And uh, I'll just put this down here. And we have the Theragun, comes with a traveling case. We'll open that up in a second. Uh, you know what, let's open up. Open it up now. And oh, oh. maybe turn it this way. So this is what comes in the traveling case. We have the Theragun G3 Pro. And then we also have two battery packs. Two battery packs. And it looks like this carries something, I'm gonna assume maybe the charger to the battery packs. Let's put these to the side, let's see what else is in this box. So we got some stuff at the bottom here. Take this off, put that down there. What do we got here? And we got the charger. Portable charger here. And then we have a little sack. And what I'm gonna assume is inside of this is the interchangeable heads. And the Theragun G3 Pro comes with six different attachments. So we got this guy here. I got a little cheat sheet on the back of this box. So got the large ball, I'm assuming. We have the standard size. We have the wedge, we have the cone, and we have the thumb. And then on the Theragun is the dampener. All right, so six heads, attachments, one Theragun, two battery packs, and one portable charger, and the traveling case. Let's talk about the look and feel of the new Theragun. I won't lie, I'm kind of a sucker for design and this looks way better than the G2 Pro. The G2 Pro basically looked like something you would get at Home Depot. 
And this one, a lot more futuristic looking. The grip, it's nice and grippy. I like it. And you know what? It's not too big, it's not too bulky. I just, I just like it, man, just like it. So the look, I love. The feel, it's kind of like a matte finish. Good grip here. There's two buttons. One is going to be the power on, and then one is going to go to the next level. So there's two levels on the Theragun where the first one only had one setting, which a lot of people thought was a, um, a negative for that. So power, and then one level up. There's also this thing right here, which will change the position of this part. So let's give that a try. And this isn't a new feature, GT Pro had it as well. Press here and then push this up. First thing I notice, it's way harder to adjust than the G2 Pro. The G2 Pro, you click this, like, you can just crank it back and forth. This one, you're, I'm pressing pretty hard here. And just look, one finger. Yeah. Palm, got it. So this is a lot harder to do. And again, these are just kind of my first impressions. I haven't really played with this at all. So overall, look cool, extra speed, good grip. This thing doesn't move as nicely as I wish it would. And then there's also the battery packs. Battery packs go right in here, just like this. And then pop it in, press here, pops out. Now let's go into the batteries. So just like I showed you a couple seconds ago, a little hole here, battery pack, pop it in, Click in, we're good to go. If you want to get rid of it, pop it out, take it out. It comes with two battery packs and the website or the manufacturer Theragun, they claim that it runs for 75 minutes each. And if that's true, huge, huge improvement over their G2 Pro. The G2 Pro, I didn't use that often, but I would do a little bit here and there, and then the battery would die, and then you would have to switch it out, and then just the battery didn't last too long. So if this is true, 75 minutes each is huge, especially if you're traveling to your clients, or maybe you're just going out of town and you wanna bring it with you. You at least get 150 minutes worth of time, which is a huge improvement. What was I gonna do? Charger, portable charger here. Got this little area here. Place that right into here. And then that's it. Nice and small. Again, the other charger was on the bigger side and the cartridges and the batteries were a little bit on the bigger side. So huge improvement on the life of the battery, then also just the size of the battery. So one of the biggest things about the G2 Pro was the noise. I don't think anyone liked the noise of the G2 Pro Theragun. This Theragun, they claim to be 50-50% less noise, which is huge because I know a lot of people who like the Theragun, but the noise was unbearable. And to be honest, in my opinion, when I was using it, I work inside this room, shared with a whole bunch of other businesses, and it was a little bit difficult to use because it was so loud. So when I heard that this one was quieter, I was intrigued. So here is the test, and I know it's a little bit hard to hear because we're going through a computer, but I'm just gonna place this right here because that's kind of the area that it's probably the distance I would be if I was using it on someone. I got my mic right here, and let's see what the noise is like. There's two settings. There's a low setting, and then there's a higher setting. Let's give it a try. So setting number one 
is it quieter than the G2 Pro? It's supposed to be 50%. And now I'm gonna talk while this is on so you can hear the difference. The old one, you can probably still hear me. The old one, I would doubt you could, you could probably barely hear me. This is definitely quieter. So let's go to level two. Now I'm gonna talk at the same level and you know, definitely not as loud as the G2 Pro. Not as loud as the G2 Pro. I would say it's probably 50% quieter, but it's not silent. It's definitely still on the louder side. My neighbor is right in here. I can hear them talking a little bit. I can guarantee they probably heard a little bit of this noise coming from the Theragun. But let's run through that again. But to, just right off the bat, it's way quieter than the G2 Pro. So let's go through that again. Let's actually use it on my, let's just put on my forearm here. Level one. And then level two. Level one. Level two. So just from using the Theragun G2 Pro versus this one, this one is, I believe, I could believe 50% quieter, but it's not silent. You can definitely still hear it. All right, we went over the noise. Now let's go over the different attachment heads. This one's called the dampener. And the one thing I, when I was taking these out of the container, I do like the feel of it much better. There's a little bit of give to all of these. I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of give on all of these attachment heads. So I think it makes it feel a little bit more real. Um, some of the other products out there, it's pretty hard styrofoam. And, you know, I really like the way they made these. It's like plastic, but a little bit of foam give. I don't know, I can't explain it, but it feels better. So we have the dampener, we have the large ball for, you know, it won't hurt as much, won't be as intense, larger surface area. The wedge, uh, you know, maybe forearms, going up the forearms, maybe straight line down the quads, not sure here. You know what would be good? High hamstring here, put it like right up where the hamstring meets the butt, kind of get into that crevice. Cone, I think for smaller areas. And then we have the standard ball. And then we have the thumb. Eh, all right, a big thumb, but this is called the thumb, so that's what it's supposed to simulate. But let's work on how these feel. Let's start with the big one, the big ball here, and then comes out, snaps right into, into place. Let's go into, uh, let's just use the peck. I guess you can hold it like this. Hold it like this if you're using it on yourself. Level one. Level two. So not too intense, even on the highest setting on something like the peck. Not too bad. Let's go into the regular size ball. Let's go to level one. All right. And that felt similar. You know, a little bit more direct pressure. Let's go to the dampener. And this was always my favorite on all these types of massage guns. It's kind of that middle of the road attachment. <clears throat> works pretty versatile, works on a lot of areas. Level 
level 2. Yeah, kind of... These are pretty similar. Now let's go into... Let's do the cone, which is for smaller areas, but because of the smaller tip here, it's going to be just more direct pressure, which will most likely be more intense. But let's go into the thumb area for this one. Let's go to level two. And definitely more intense with that pinpoint point. Let's go into this wedge. And the one thing I noticed, I wish you could twist this so it was this way. But if you're holding it this way, going this way would be easy. But let's say we wanted to go up and down. A little awkward here, but let's go into the forearms. This one is surprisingly, uh, surprisingly intense for what it is. You can really feel the edge of this attachment going in. You can, I don't know if you can see that. It actually made it a little bit red. So I mean, it's getting in there. Uh, just to be, just to go over everything. It's not flush. Like you can kind of see. It's like the side of a plastic package. You know those packages where you have to cut it with scissors and the side is just like, I don't know, just, it's not cut well. It's not, it's not perfectly rounded and you can feel that when it goes in. So maybe over close would be better for this one. All right, then let's go into the thumb. And the thumb, you know what's the best for the thumb that I do in my sessions? I'm going into the traps. So let's try the traps. Go level two. All right, cool. So the thumb attachment, I like a lot. It's kind of right in between. I would say it's like a medium to high level of intensity. This is the most intense part. These two are the most intense. The wedge, the cone, the thumb is one level below that. And then I would say these three are all pretty much the same. Very similar in feel. You could probably just get rid of these two. Just use this one. So those are the attachments, six total attachments for the Theragun. All of them have somewhat of a different feel. Again, these ones don't feel that much of a difference. These three, the ones with the round, kind of the roundedness, but let's see. Firmness here. Firmness, this one's a little bit firmer. Yeah, so similar. These are a little bit more on the intense side, but those are a little bit of a look. That's a little bit of a look of the attachments. So just a quick little overview before I do the comparison with the Hypervolt versus the Theragun G3 Pro. Looks wise, huge upgrade. Doesn't look like a piece of hardware that you would get from Home Depot. Looks a little futuristic good grip, just feels good in the hands. Two batteries with 75 minutes of battery life for each one, so 150 minutes total of a battery life, which is a huge upgrade from their previous version. And then we also get a portable charger that's a little bit smaller than the one from before. We get six attachments and it's quieter than the previous model. Again, I would, agree with it being about 50% quieter. Um, so that's a quick review, but now let's get into the comparison between the Hypervolt and the new Theragun. Let's get into the comparison now between the Hyperice Hypervolt and the Theragun G3 Pro. I'm not gonna do a full thorough comparison like I did in my old video, but we'll go over a couple things. We'll go over the look, 
how it feels on me, and then also the noise. Noise has always been a big one between these guns. So let's start with the look. They both now look futuristic, very futuristic. This one looks a little bit more like a gun. This one doesn't. Cool, that's enough on the looks. Now let's go into the sound. Let's turn on the Hyper Ice, Hyper Volt. And this one has, if you didn't, didn't know, three settings. And there's a low, a medium, a high intensity. Again, this one only has two. So let's start on the lowest intensity on the Hyper Volt. I'm gonna keep these. I'll switch hands so it's consistent with where the mic is. So I'll put this one down. Level number one on the Hyper Ice Hyper Volt. Let's go into level number two. Level number two. Let's go to the highest setting on the Hyper Ice Hyper Volt. Hyper Ice Hyper Volt, level three. All right. Let's go to Theragun. Only two settings. We'll start off on the lowest one. Let's go to the last setting. So comparing the two, this is actually still a lot louder than the Hyper Ice Hyper Volt. So let's compare those again. Level number two. Level number three. Level number one. Level number two. So from a noise standpoint, Hypervolt still is a lot quieter than the Theragun. Let's go into feel. And I don't think the decision that I made in my first video is going to change that much because when I was doing the noise, I could feel the difference. And let's start with the Hyper Ice Hyper Volt. And when I was doing the review initially back when I did my first YouTube video comparison video, I still kind of go back to this and this feels more like vibration. Like this thing goes back and forth really quick. where I call the Theragun a little bit more percussive. It has a little bit more, more of a hit to it. And you can see that it goes a lot further than the Hyper Ice Hyper Volt, where this one doesn't, doesn't go out as far. Let's see if we can do a little comparison there. So it all depends on what your preference is. I would think, I think of this one as a little bit more vibration. And then this one is a little bit more percussive. Still packs a little bit more of a punch than this one. So it's the same thing as what I said back in my review with the G2 Pro versus the Hypervolt. And that is it. That is the review on the Theragun G3 Pro. Let me know if you want me to do more reviews like this on different massage therapy guns. If you want me to do it on other therapy products or foam rollers, let me know. I'm going to do some more reviews. Also, do you think you're going to pick one of these up? Are you going to upgrade? Are you going to switch from Hyper Ice Hyper Volt? Or do you want to stick with the Hyper Ice Hyper Volt? Let me know. Also, let me know if you have any questions down below. Don't forget to like this video if you liked this video. And then also subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.